we have been given the Holy Ghost to continue the same works that Jesus began both to do and to teach, and we cannot fail. In Luke 4, from verse 18, the Lord said, The Spirit of the rest upon me, for he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the broken hearted. He has sent me to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind. He has sent me to set at liberty those who are oppressed. He has sent me to preach the acceptable way of the Lord. He closed the book, gave it back to the minister, and sat down. And the eyes of all them there were fastened on him. And he began to say unto them, Today is this scripture fulfilled in your ears. Any day you hear the word of God, that day is the day that scripture must be fulfilled in your life. If it's not like something is not right, the day you hear of what God wants done, why Christ came, that day is the day you have to experience that. Everything the Lord and the prophet said, we are until John. Matthew 11, verse 11. Amongst all born of women, there's none as great as John the Baptist, but the least in the kingdom is greater than John, verse 12. For from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence. Only the violent will take it by force. For the law and the prophets were until John, Luke 6, 16, 16. 16. And since the days of John till today, the kingdom of heaven or God's kingdom rule is preached in every man. Press it into it now. So when you hear it, you are duty bound to press it to take full delivery of what is yours. The kingdom of God is preached. Everyone press it in. You are to hear and press it today. Kai. You are to hear that God heals and receive your healing today. You are to hear that God saves and be saved today. Any day you hear of what God can do and you know that God is a I am that I am. That is the day you are to receive that. For you to be denied of what the I am can do now is an error. Ah. For you not to have what God can do now is an error. For you to be disallowed from partaking of what God has power to do now is an error. Jesus said, this day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears. Now hear me. Instead of the people believing and partaking, look at what they did. Luke 4, I read from verse 22. Now from 21, this day, is this scripture fulfilled in your ears? And all, all of them, they bear him witness and wondered at the gracious words which proceeded out of his mouth. And they said, it's not this Joseph's son. That's the one. They despised him because they felt they knew him. He came to his own. His own received him not. He was despised and rejected. A man of sorrow, a Peter will grieve. Kai. He had the power to terminate all of their challenges. He brought heaven to earth to free man from hell on earth and to restore man to the kingdom life. Heaven on earth. They ignored him. Jesus spoke and they said that the people wondered at the gracious words which came out of his mouth. And they said, it's not this Joseph's son. And he said unto them, Ye will surely say to me, This proverb, physician, heal yourself. Whatsoever we have heard done in Capernaum, do also here in your own country. And he said, Verily I say unto you, no prophet is accepted in his own country. That's an error. But I tell you of a truth, many widows who were in Israel in the days of Elijah, when the heaven were shut up, three years and six months, when great famine was throughout all the land. But unto none of them, because of their unbelief in God's prophets, saw Elijah. None of them was ever sent to, save unto Sarepta, a city of Sidon, unto a woman that was a widow. 
And many lepers who were in Israel in the time of Elisha, the prophet, and none of them was cleansed, saving Naaman the Syrian. And all day in the synagogue, when they heard these things, we are filled with anger. With anger, rather. They were filled with wrath. They became angry. And they rose up and thrust him out of the city and led him onto the brow of the city, whereon, onto the brow of the hill whereon their city was built, that they might cast him down headlong. The one that came to save them, the one to kill their savior. They become the wicked. But he, passing through the midst of them, went his way. Look at verse 40. Now, when the sun was 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 setting all day that had any sick with divers diseases brought them unto him and he laid his hands on every one of them and healed them all everyone he entered the synagogue in Capernaum he saw a man who was there with an unclean spirit and the man cried out Christ rebuked that spirit set the man free the man was free he came to his own to set them free to heal them to change their story. Yet, all they could do was to throw him out, to kill him. That's the problem. We are sent, I am sent to heal a zillion. I am sent to stop anything after man's destruction. I am sent to bring healing, liberty, and restoration to all. He sent me to raise, build, and plant all as Christ's ambassadors everywhere man is found and restore all things. At all costs, and by all means, after the heavenly pattern. There's nothing that you have as a, as a challenge that will not bow if you can believe what I'm telling you now. But you know what? Sometimes we can't. They look down on us because we are not as fair as they would desire. We are not clothed as much as they desire. We are not carrying the carriage that they want us to carry. They see us, maybe our grammar is cut and join. You know that kind of grammar now. We cut and join. I only talk so that even those who are in primary school can hear me. People can hear me and understand me. I'm not to impress anybody with grammar. But now, some of us, we cut and, and nailed grammar. So sometimes they sit down and they are marking our grammar. Christ said, before Abraham, I am. <laughs> before Abraham was, I am. They said, this man now, Lodo, he didn't go to school. That's why I'm speaking rubbish English. Before Abraham was, I am. That's what Christ said. Man, they couldn't bear it. <laughs> so some are marking our grammar instead of connecting with our power. They are marking our grammar. Please stop marking my grammar. Connect with the power that has kept me sickness free for the past 33 years plus. May 31st, 1991 till today. Never taking a basic or any medication because of sickness. Now, since 1999 till today, I've not spent a dime on my family on account of on account of sickness. I am empowered. You can believe me. The Lord said to me, heal a zillion. It doesn't matter your sickness. You can't meet me and remain sick. You can choose marking my grammar or marking my packaging and say this man doesn't have anything. What you think does not matter. Christ came. He had no dignity. He had no poise. But we say he was despised. He was rejected. He was the pillar that the builders couldn't even bring as, 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 a, as part of the blocks to be used. Meanwhile, he was a pillar. They cast him away, threw him away. <laughs> that's how people are stop marking men that God has lifted stop marking them down connect with them, connect with the power they have and be free listen, I am anointed to do all that Jesus Christ did and more than he did I'm telling you 2nd of August 1996 Christ wore himself for me as I, as I put on the jacket we became one Two or four stood initially. I watched him do what he did. At a point, he stopped. In split seconds, shoom, he merged himself and myself into one. I became a carrier of Christ. I embodied the living Christ. He continued doing what he was doing before the merger. At a point, his voice came from within me telling me what you saw me do, which I have done now through you, go and do all over the world. He is zillion. Place my cross over the pit that I have not in. Stop anything after my destruction. Bring healing, liberty, and resolution to all. He sent me. Listen, I am sent. I'm not playing gimmicks here. If you can receive me, you will be free from every sickness and disease. I'm telling you, it's guaranteed. I am empowered as he's empowered. 
the spirit of him that raised up Christ. Jesus from the dead was my mother body. And so he that raised up Christ from the dead also quickens my mother body. I am empowered, energized. I am full of power by his spirit. There's no sickness that can pet on me and not dry up. It's not possible. No sickness. This is a no-go area. The devils know. Demons know. Sicknesses know. They can't dare. Michael, like a predish, tranquil food, that's who flat in the body. They know. They know. They hear me. This is, it's, it's not over 33 years of no sickness. Now, children, my first son came into this world in the year 2000, April 17th. I said, since 1999, never spent a dime on medication with my family. It's not by law. Four children free from sickness, never, never spent a dime on any single one of them since childbirth now. It's not by luck, sir. It's not by luck. For any one of them, four sound, solid children, not a dime spent on any single one of them since 1990. Now, listen, it's not, I'm telling your life, you can be free. Connect with the one he has sent. He sent me to heal a zillion. You can connect with me and be, and be under any touch of Satan through sickness or disease. Today is your day. Believe and live. In Jesus' precious name. I care for you and I know you care for yourself. Do the needful and be free from sickness. God bless you. See you.